Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. A couple of years ago, I showed you how to get the free M365 Business Basic subscription. It was working at that time, and the last subscription still continue without any payment. You can get the free renewal for this 10 users Business Basic subscription. If you got it, congratulations, it's still valid. But the method will not work anymore. If you still want to get the free 365 E5 developer subscription, that's still valid. You can still try to get that. But what I want to show you today is the new method to get free Office 365 with E1 or E3 subscription. I just found it online a couple of days ago and I came in to try it. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step guide. Everything you need to know, it's been put into this blog post which you can find in the video description. Now let's go to get this free subscription. So all links and the necessary steps has been posted in my this blog post. You can find the link in the video description. This video is just show you the step by step guide here. So the highlight of the steps is two steps, register empty global account, then create a subscription. If you already have a Microsoft global account, and then you can skip that step to directly create a subscription. For now, um, I'm going to give a try to see if I can get the empty account. I'm going to use in the US region to try to get the account here. So I'm going to use in my admin I have this bestit.eu.org account. So verification completed. This is a business standard trial account registration process. Uh, I need to create a new account. So let's get started. So we can continue. Set up account. Um, you can put whatever you want. I'm going to put the Canada, which is my country right now. Oh, I can. You don't have to check those. Uh, next. I'm going to use admin, best IT. Oh, best IT is not available here. So we're going to use um, 51 best IT. That's for sure works. So we can look at the password. Next. So you can tell here, uh, they are creating account and they don't want you to refresh page because it is going to be take a while. So now there's a payment method. So we can hold on here. Uh, we are hoping the previous process, which creating account, which already working. We should be able to use that account to go to the next step to get our subscription. So we finished this step. Now we're going to go to here, purchase subscription. As you can see here, there's um, three different ways. You can get 25 license, 2 million offer, 35, and 2 million office, 365. Now we finished our first step. Now we're going to go to second step, create a subscription. Um, if you go to the section, purchase subscription, you will see uh, different uh, URLs here. Uh, one is 425 license, E3 developer, 2 million Office 365 enterprise E3, for Symphony licenses, 2 million one. Uh, we're going to use this one, which is a uh, 25 license for E3 developer license. Um, we're going to give it a try. Go back here. Let's go open that on the tab. Put it in. We might be missing on something at the top. HTTPS. Okay, I do have some other accounts, but I don't want to use in those. So I'm going to use um, my new one, which I just created, 51 best it dot on 
microsoft.com. So this is the email. If this email wasn't associated to any account, then I will get the error for next step. Now let's see. Yeah, I do have an account there. They want to verify my password, which I'm going to put it in. So it doesn't work here. That, as you can see, now they don't get you into that account because the process hasn't been completed. And even they already created the account which you can tell it's here, 51bestit.microsoft.com because they allows me to go to the next step, but they don't let you to log in. So it's fine, we're gonna figure this out. Let me show you how we can get it working. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna put the car number in. Now, since the account cannot be logged in, even it's created. So that's why it doesn't allow us to go to the next step. So right now we put the payment method in. You see? Okay, so it asked me to review and how many business standard trial account you want to get and uh, yearly paid monthly after trial because here is the one I don't want to choose anything but the minimum one you see it go. Uh, I just don't want to start try, trial right now. Uh, but I want to go back to here to see if I can continue that process uh, which is for us to get the free 25 E3 license. So let's continue these steps. Use another account. We cannot use the admin account again, which is 51 best IT on microsoft.com. Okay, let's try to get the password in again. Now it's different, we are able to log in. Let's look at the license. It's empty, no subscription. No invoice. We do have our payment method has been saved here. In this way, let's go try to get this in again. That doesn't seem like it allows us to do that. Let me give it try here. So we do have this one. Just want to make sure we are get the right one. Okay. And we can try here. To purchase, we do check out. It's waiting. Finally, we get there. So as you can see, we do need to add our Visa card here, but it doesn't stopping us to pay zero. So if we place order here, we get zero dollars and we get a 25 license for free to use. And that usually year by year is as I expected. It will not charge you based on my previous experience. So far, all looks good. We go to the next step. We are processing the order. Let's see if we are all set. Let's go to license. 25E3 developer license, perfect. So the process is a um, little bit different from what I got from other place. You do need to put your payment information in, but you don't have to pay anything at this moment. 
So we cannot delete it, just for your information, we cannot delete it because once you want to delete it, it will ask you to replace it with another payment. They don't allow you to actually delete your payment. So it does require a valid payment method in your account, but we got 25 E3 developer license for free to use. So hopefully you can do the same without paying anything. You can get the 25 Office 365 E3 license. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in my next video. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe my channel to support me or, and give me a thumb up if you can. Bye for now. Thank you.